They broke our country and it's very difficult to get it back on track. But here's the real deal. Let me explain some of the other problems. WIC, the government program is is the largest buyer, the largest customer for baby formula in the United States of America. And now Joe Biden and his administration, they're moving into their solution is making WIC an even bigger customer. When in reality, many of the parents that can't buy buy baby formula for their baby, they're not on the WIC program. And the WIC program is making it more difficult for them to buy baby formula. Because if you're on WIC, if, if you're a, uh, you know, someone that needs to be on that government assistance you're allowed to buy as much baby formula as you want to with your WIC vouchers. And they're increasing that for those those parents. But if you're not on WIC, you're limited in how many uh, how many cans of baby formula you're allowed to buy. So right on the heels of Republicans railing against babies at the border being given formula because God forbid brown babies get fed before white babies. Now we've got Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene railing against low income families being able to feed their babies before everyone else. Tell you what, I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, these people might not be pro-life after all. So let's get into the facts on this, because while Marjorie Taylor Greene is suggesting that low income people are buying up all the baby formula in an obvious effort to pit the classes against each other, that is of course not true. What the Biden administration is looking to do is simply make it easier for low income families to buy whatever formula is available to them. Currently, those who benefit from the WIC program, women, infant, and children, those recipients are restricted in terms of what type, size, and brand they can buy. In other words, if you rely on WIC benefits to feed your baby, and because of the shortage, there isn't a specific formula you're entitled to available, then that means your baby doesn't get formula. The White House is seeking to rectify that issue. You'd have to be a monster to disagree with that decision. Although apparently Marjorie Taylor Greene does, so uh, you do the math on that one. Consider too that even within the WIC program, each state in the US has a contract with a single manufacturer. Abbott Nutrition is the exclusive provider in about half of those states. Abbott Nutrition is also the provider whose facility in Sturgis, Michigan was shut down because of a bacterial contamination that was linked to the deaths of two infants. So it seems pretty reasonable to expand those WIC benefits to other providers if your provider is the one currently experiencing shortages. Again, this would seem like a common sense call, which again, might be why Marjorie Taylor Greene is so against it. And I know that Marjorie Taylor Greene is suggesting that low income families are just going to buy up all the formula. But first of all, the changes that we're seeing in the WIC program don't eliminate quantity restrictions. They just give families more options so that they have something instead of nothing. It's not a blank check to buy every can or jar of formula on the shelf. And second of all, many stores are already implementing quantity restrictions anyway to stop any person from buying up all the formula. It's interesting how Green only scapegoats low income folks as if one rich person isn't also capable of buying up every last can on the shelf. It's almost like, and bear with me on this one, the GOP needs to vilify someone and the poor have always been a perfectly reliable group to throw under the bus. And let's just be real here, Marjorie Taylor Greene pitting higher income Americans against lower income Americans isn't an accident. This is what Republicans do. They have long tried to divert everyone's attention to scapegoat the poor because then no one would focus on the wealthy and the corporations. And because those are who's funding Republican campaigns, they have a vested interest in keeping you distracted. And so instead of focusing on the fact that we have only a couple of baby formula manufacturers here in the United States who are allowed to sell formula for higher and higher prices every single year, Republicans Republicans want you to think that those using WIC benefits are the real villains, the lowest income Americans among us. Just like how migrants, many of whom pay taxes but can't even receive benefits, are the real villains for quote, taking your jobs. As if the poorest among us, those making a few bucks an hour, are the problem and not the ultra wealthy and corporations that pay little to nothing in taxes while royally screwing over Americans for sky high profits over products where there's inelastic demand are just innocent bystanders. Republicans know exactly who they're protecting. And if it means they have to scapegoat some poor people or some brown people to maintain the status quo, then clearly that's a price they're willing to pay. And Marjorie Taylor Greene's comments here are proof of exactly that. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button right here on this screen. And to support my work beyond that, check out my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I cover the week's most important stories and interview the biggest players in the world of politics, including President Biden, Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Katie Porter, and so many more. The link is also right here on this screen. And finally, to take action yourself and sign petitions on the most important issues, go to briantylercohen.com petition.